Hey, I'm Laura. Just quickly, we here at Grit TV are proud to bring you independently produced content every day. Now it's your chance to help us. Grit TV has been offered a $100,000 challenge grant. Every dollar you give right now between now and June 30th is worth $3 to us. We've only got a few more weeks to meet the match. Will you help? You can donate at our website, grittv.org. Meanwhile, enjoy this clip. Well, finally, the president has a Rooseveltian opportunity, columnist Frank Rich wrote this weekend. In fact, I'd say he has not one, but two. First, Obama could channel Teddy Roosevelt, stand off against the titans of oil, Wall Street, and mining, suggested Rich. The field is empty. After all, the president's critics on the right are all for big power for big companies. Second, though, channel FDR and announce a jobs program on the Gulf. Why not? That way, the president could tackle two problems at once. According to recent Gallup polls, the enduring unemployment crisis is hitting Obama's base where it hurts, among the young, the very people who showed up for him in 2008. As unemployment's risen up about 4 percent, the president's approval rating among this group has sunk. Among 18 to 29-year-olds, it's still at 58 percent, but that's down 8 percent in two years. And that's bad news long term for Democrats. Some economists were predicting as many as 180,000 new jobs last month. The actual increase came in at less than a quarter of that. The number out of work for 27 weeks or more remains at its highest level ever. And unemployment for teenagers, it's over 26 percent and rising. It's going to be a long, hot summer with jobs and services both in decline. And soon, probably, we're going to be hearing those calls for more policing and anti-gang laws, so-called. Former Labor Secretary Robert Reich has a suggestion. Why not instead create a new civilian conservation corps on the Gulf Coast, putting young people to work, cleaning up after the oil spill, and send the bill to BP? Channel Teddy Roosevelt and stick it to the polluters, and channel FDR and put people back to work and create a program that could create goodwill for generations. How about it? 